Good morning and welcome to another video. And today is going to be an exciting one because I'm going to test my squat and deadlift max. Now, it's a bit annoying because Luca was due to come lift to us as well, which would obviously would have been awesome, but he's literally just what's at me and just said, look, Dad, I'm really sorry, mate. I'm really sad under at work. I'm not going to make it. Let me please. Say please. Please. Okay, mummy, do it. Ready? <sighs> So yeah, I'm excited, it should be good. Um, I mean, I haven't done anything heavy for like a long time, like since switching to bodybuilding, so what's that, like four, five months ago now? I haven't touched anything above like probably 60, 70% of my max, so I have no idea what to expect. I mean, it's not a decision we took lightly, like me and Phelan have been debating this for a long time, like analyzing the pros and cons for the last few months. And then last night after a press session, we had a really, really long, in-depth, biomechanical-based discussion, which went a little bit like this. Should we test our maxes tomorrow? You're right then. And so now, it's the moment of truth. Judgment day is go time. Oh, and by the way, if you don't give the video a like, because that clip of Luke was the best thing you've ever seen, you're going to hell. Okay, we're on. We're in. It's very, very windy, so I'm saying there's a 0.5% chance anything camera, we say your camera could fall over. is audible and it could fall over as well, yeah. Okay, game on. Uh, so, the plan is, like I said, max is we're going to test our max for the squat and the deadlift, not the bench, because we only decided on this plan like last night and we've just done loads of pushing, so obviously benching today would be a terrible idea, but yeah, squat and deadlift max should be interesting. To give you some perspective, um, Phelan, what are your current maxes all time? Squat 100. Yeah. Uh, and 100 deadlift. kilograms. And deadlift 150 kg. Okay, but well, that was like a while ago. That was a long time. And you've done like one leg session in the last six weeks. Basically. And that was when I was training like solidly six yeah. months, six okay. days a week. Okay, so 100 and 150. I reckon they're not unattainable. I think uh -huh. it's possibly possible. Yeah. Um, and then for me, so my squat max is 265 kilograms. Yeah! And then my deadlift max is 310 kilograms. But obviously bear in mind they were done last year when I was like A, training as a powerlifter, so squatting and deadlifting heavy like three, four times a week, and B, weighed like 103, 104 kilograms. I'm like 95 now, so you're looking at like eight, nine kilograms of extra body weight, so what's that, like 20 pounds? Like I was basically a lot heavier and stronger. Anyway, also before I forget, if you're wondering where this sick top is from, because a few of you asked in the last video, it's part of the My, uh, my Protein's new range, which is dropping like soon, so go and check out, the link is in my description, you want to get anything in My Protein, use my link, use my code, and we automatically become best friends. You were saying earlier, like, it's the best thing you've ever seen. You actually said, I'll swap you my car for that top. Yeah. And I was like, no. And you were like, please, Matt. If I'm you desperate. do change your mind, like seriously, if you do change your mind, I'm so down to do that. Okay, deal. I mean, it sounds like because I could just drive that to. <laughs> Absolutely, it'd be so fast. <laughs> just like sitting it on the floor, be so That's good. So okay, okay, let's go in and uh, lift. So up to three plates. Um, I honestly have no idea what to expect. Like, it's gonna be nowhere near the matches I showed you a minute ago. So my previous one, my existing PRs, I'm obviously nowhere near there. 160 kilos is the most I've squatted for like four or five months. So I don't know. This is basically complete guesswork. I'm gonna work up in singles from this point on and see what happens. Outrageously easy. So far, so good. Alright, let's go. This is 90 kilos, by the way. Push. Easy. Feel good? Relatively easy, yeah. I feel, like, I feel like I'm gonna. Uh, I'm saying 100 is at least in the back. At least, yeah. Anyone that wears a vest for a leg session is an absolute gimp.
180. So good, moved well. Right, 100 kilos. This is to equal your lifetime PR. If you don't do this, you have to walk out the gym and go home immediately. Push. Easy. That was good. That looks smooth. There's more there. There's a lot more there, I think. Right, so I'm going straight into 200 because I don't want to like do loads of singles because obviously we're going to go and do deadlifts after this. I want to try and save something if I can. So I imagine this will be probably somewhere near my limit. We'll see how quick it goes. Easy. That looked easy. Okay. <laughs> that looked so easy. Right, 110, come on, let's go. This will be a lifetime PR. Dual screen. Push! Woo! That was actually quite anticlimactic, to be honest. Yeah, I expected it to be hard. <laughs> I made an executive call, this could be a terrible call, to go for 220. Uh, the same principle as before in that I don't want to waste energy. Like if I go for 210 and get it, I'm going to want to go for 220 anyway, so I might as well save myself the, uh, save my CNS a bit. But there is a chance I could get stuck and drop it and it would be really embarrassing, but fingers crossed. Pretty nervous. It's funny that I'm nervous because this is like, I've done this for seven reps I think before. <laughs> this, is a different, this is a different chapter in my life. I'm not the man I was. <sighs> Easy. Push. Easy. Woo! Right. Just gonna try one more. That. My torso would have just dissolved, disintegrated. <laughs> and I would have just been left with like a pair of shoes on the floor. That was horrendous, Jesus Christ. Because this is like a weak gym bar as well, it was like bending all over the place, that was terrifying. <laughs> I'm never ever doing that again. The funny thing is, there are people that can squat that for like multiple reps. Right, 120, come on. 120, yeah. For a lifetime PR. Let's go, come on. You got it, mate. Big breath, come on. Let's go. Push. <laughs> that was smooth, but there was a split second. Horrific. Contemplating throwing the camera down and running over. Thought I was going to pass out for a second. <laughs> right. Let's do some deadlifts. Okay, uh, I'm working my way up. Um, I don't feel as good as I did with squats. Like deadlifts haven't felt as good over the last few months. Like squats have kind of, obviously I'm not weak, but they've kind of hung in there a bit in terms of the way they feel, whereas deadlifts have felt, felt pretty terrible the whole time. Plus, I haven't to wear Ollie shoes, which is really annoying. Like I tried, I brought my flat shoes today, but something about those laminate deadlift platforms, I find it, in, I found it in a few gyms. I think the, the deadlift shoes I have are terrible. I'm just, it's like, a, it's like an ice cream, my feet are slipping, so I have no choice but to wear Ollie shoes, which obviously isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, same as the squat, I have no idea what to expect. I'll work my way up, see what I've got. Um, let's make it happen. Got 100 grips, let's go, mate. Get tight. That was not even worth filming. It wasn't even worth filming. It was
120. Woo! That looked like you were like eating a bowl of cornflakes. <laughs> Simple. 60, yeah, yeah. Easy. much hope that felt like being violated in my basement it was horrible uh, I'll go heavier but the shoes are like not ideal they're, they're pulling me forward so the second the weight leaves the floor I'm in like a terrible position I'm having to like save it I don't know I'll go a bit heavier see what happens if I don't get this then I'm gonna be wounded you will if you don't get this I'm gonna you're just weigh me in I'm gonna erase you from, 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 from every video the audience and my memory so it'll be like you never existed Ten. Come on, let's get a massive breath, get tired, and let's rip it up. Easy. Easy. Oh, right. This is going to be the slowest, most ugly rep you've ever seen. Easy. Disgusting. Goodness sake, that's 10 kilos more than my squat. What in God's name is happening to me? 160 is on the bar for a lifetime PR. That rhymed. Uh, if I don't get this, I'm going to be so wounded. Okay, so what's going to happen is, when you start pulling it, it's going to feel like it's stuck. Okay, just hang on to it, keep pulling, and as soon as it breaks the floor, it'll be easy. Okay? Don't pull it and give up. Don't be a little weasel. If you give up on this on this ball, I'm going to come in and just absolutely... Just boot me through the middle. Yeah, literally. Oh, come on. So much pressure in right now. Come on. Like four people. I'm telling you, you got it. I'm telling you, you got it. Just hang on to it and keep pulling and you got it. Alright. Come on. Oh. Got it, got it, got it. Woo! That wasn't even that bad. Jesus. I reckon that was probably quicker off the floor than your. <laughs> that one, yeah, it was. Boom. So I'm going for 240, which is probably ill-advised because the 230 felt horrendous, but I feel like doing 10 kilos more on my deadlift and my squat is just unacceptable, so I'm going to try and get it. I'm going to try and get it. I'm going to give myself the same advice I just gave you. It's going to be slow on the floor. I'll either get uh, the lift or I'll get like 400 hemorrhoids. <laughs> 400. <laughs> oh. Okay, there was a strong chance that was going to happen. Oh, Maybe if I just like hung on, I could have got that, but like my motivation to get it is pretty low because it's like so significantly far below my actual PR. Yeah, like you It'll be like you struggling to pull like 70 kilos and yeah. then trying to get hyped to pull 70 kilos. <laughs> okay, the squat was good. The squat was better than I thought. Deadlift was like obviously pretty bad, but it's all right. It's all right. And we're done, and that was okay, it was mixed. Like, the squat, I'll be honest, is better than I thought I was gonna get. Like, obviously with both of the lifts, it, like they're nowhere near my PRs, um, but that was what I expected. I said at the start, I didn't expect to get anywhere near my PRs, but yeah, the squat was better than I thought, considering like the lack of doing anything heavy for a long period of time. Deadlift was obviously pretty embarrassing, but um, watching it back, like you can see every time I start pulling, I'm just falling forwards and I don't want to make excuses. Making excuses is like a weasel thing to do, but the shoes definitely screwed me over. Like I was in a really bad position, like deadlifting. It's like the loudest motorbike in the world. You freaking kidding me. Um, deadlifting with your heels raised is like literally the opposite to what you want because it means your weight gets transferred forward, then the bar pulls you forward, then you're in a really inefficient position to pull, to, to pull the bar. So yeah, that probably accounts for some of that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was, it was fun and more importantly, it was, it was interesting. I thought it would be interesting to see where I am, just to get a gauge of where my strength is now. And it's kind of given me a bit of motivation just to try and, I'm still gonna keep doing legs once a week for, for the moment because I'm not ready for more than that, but 
it's given me a bit of motivation to like try and lift a bit heavier, you know, just because it, ultimately it's fun. Like I did like I did it for a long time, like three years powerlifting, and I loved it. It's really fun lifting heavy, you know. So I want to get back to lifting fairly heavy, um, and it's cool as well. I think it makes you stand out. Like there aren't many guys that have a reasonable physique but are strong as well, you know. So I think it's quite a good niche to have. Anyway, um, before I go, I want to quickly give you some like tips because I don't want to leave. I want you to kind of get something from the video rather than just watching me lift, you know, so I thought it would be interesting to give you uh, or useful to give you some like tips as far as testing your maxes go, okay, so first thing I'll say is that like don't do it very often, like you don't need to be testing your max every few weeks, it's very common for beginners particularly with a bench press for example, they'll come in uh, on a Monday, do their max bench press and then go do some, some dumbbells or whatever. Next Monday come in, max bench press, and for the first few weeks you'll make progress, your bench will go up, but then you're soon gonna plateau because you're simply not doing enough volume, you know, and you can't, it's not sustainable to be increasing your one rep max every week. Of course it's not, you know, so I would say the absolute max is every six, seven, eight weeks, you know, no more than that. Really, I would say if you're testing your max maybe four, five max times a year, then, I mean, that's good, you know, um, because ultimately, even though it's fun, um, and it is, you know, doing singles will get you better at doing singles, because it is a skill, you're not going to get enough volume in that session, so you can't afford to do it too often, because every time you do it, you're basically missing training volume, you know, but assuming you are going to go and test your max, um, a lot of people ask me, like, what should I lift, like, how should I work up to a max, it's like a, a bit of a grey area, I mean, it is a lot, it is a lot down to personal preference. I can give you my example. So, for example, today, where I squatted 220 kilos, I went um, 10 reps with the bar, I went 8 reps with 60, I went about 5 reps with 100, I did 3 reps with 140, and then for that point on, it was just singles, singles, singles. Um, so what's really important is that you do your, your standard warm-up, right, and you want to get a lot of reps in early on when the weight's very light, um, because that's going to get your muscles ready to go, it's going to get blood flowing, it's going to get your joints lubricated and like ready to go. Beyond that, as soon as it gets mildly heavy, you just want to go for singles. Any more than singles is going to fatigue you. Um, the whole point of those heavier singles is just to prime your CNS. So yeah, I went uh, the free at 140, then went a single at 180, a single at 200, and a single at 220, and that was that. Um, I'd probably advise maybe to take slightly smaller jumps, but it is a balance because obviously if you do too much, you're going to be fatigued and if you don't do enough, you're not going to be ready. So it is just finding the balance and really you're only going to find that through experience. The more times you test, the more frequently you do that, the better you're going to get at gauging how you feel and what you need to do, you know? And then the next tip, and this is a big one, is just to like take a PR for what it is, you know? I think some people get really excited, get carried away, and end up going for massive jumps and missing it, and then they're screwed, you know? So if your squat PR is 180, 182 and a half is a PR, you know, that's good, you can take that, that's progress and you can build on it next time. If you jump up to like 200 and you miss it, you're then gonna maybe drop to 190, you might miss that. I see it all the time with clients particularly, they go too, they go too far, they miss that attempt, and they end up having to jump right back down to get anything, and in the end they get no PR, you know? A two and a half kilo PR is better than no PR, so take small jumps and then you can always put more on from there when you're feeling good rather than having to come back down and being depressed and the final one I'd say and this is really important is like either get someone there with you like a friend uh, or someone in the gym that ideally knows you or film your lifts because it's really hard to gauge it like you'd be amazed how misleading the way a lift feels so many times I've done a single I've done a set and it's felt horrible like such a grind and I watch it back and it actually moved really nice you know so having someone there or having it on video is going to inform you how it looks probably better than the way it feels for you and that can that can kind of influence what you do because sometimes if I was to do a lift based on how it felt I wouldn't go any heavier but I watched the video and I think do you know what that looked easy I've definitely got more there and then I go heavier and I get it you know and that is that it's lunchtime now so I want to go because I'm hungry plus I'm sitting in a car wearing black in the sun it's like a freaking greenhouse now so I need to get some fresh air um yeah I hope you enjoyed the video guys like I found it quite fun it was like a trip down memory lane so I hope it was like exciting slash informative for you um I don't panic about the food you're probably thinking like we haven't seen any food for a while I know you're a bit like perverted in that sense so I'm filming a day of eating tomorrow I'm gonna probably track my macros and calories as well so keep your eyes peeled for that it should be up on Sunday um, but yeah I'm going to leave it there so I sincerely hope you enjoyed it guys if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow